Hey, hey. All right, I think. Turn you this way a little bit. Hey, Facebook. Hello, hello. Let me see how my lighting looks. Hello, hello. Come on in, you guys. Come on in for episode number two. Oh, okay, it looks good. It looks good. My lighting looks really off on my screen, but on the computer, it looks really good. So, come on in. Welcome to Boss Babe TV episode number two. Let me share this to my pages real quick, and then we're going to um, <clears throat> dive into this topic. All right, let's see. There we go. Hello, hello. Uh, share this into my group. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's have a chat. All right, and if this is your first time on one of my live streams and you're wondering who the heck I am, I am Kendra Woods of KendraKWoods.com and um, I'm a mindset and business coach and I refer to myself as a mindset queen because that's really what I focus on is mindset, mindset, mindset um, because I believe that mindset is, a strong mindset is the foundation for a successful business, right? And so today I want to talk to you about um, starting where you are to get where you want to be. And this came to me today because I was just thinking about where I was in my journey. I was thinking about my journey when I first started my business, right? And it's funny because a lot of the women that I talk to, they are at that place where I was in my business and I can hear sometimes the the overwhelm, the um, like the confusion, the excitement to like get going and get everything out there and to, uh, you know, start getting clients. But then there's this level of, okay, but where do I start, right? Like, how do I get there? Where do I start? And so today I want to talk to you about just really keeping it simple, really keeping it simple. Like when I first started my business, I mean, my first mindset, my initial mindset was, okay, I just need to know the step-by-steps. You know, what do I need to do step-by-step-by-step, um, step step, right? That was my first thought. Like, I need to know what to do first, what to do next. And that is, that's great. And so I ventured out to find resources that would help me figure out the very first thing that I need to do when it, come, when it came to launching my business and putting myself out there. And so I started with just like reading books, right? Hey viewers, thank you for being here. And so I started out just, you know, reading books and, and filling my mind with, you know, some of the strategy and some of the ways in which to get my business out there. But looking back on that, I also realized too that there was a lot of angst and frustration and um, overwhelm around building my business. But what I've learned, what I've learned since then is that we can really, it can really be easy, right? It can really be easy. And I think that, you know, back then when I first started my business, I was looking at these other women who were already further along in their journey, right? They had been in business for like a year or two years or three years. And so I was watching them and I was seeing um, their progress that had taken them one, two, three years to get to. And I remember that it, it used to like freak me out because I would think, oh my gosh, I need to have, you know, my website set up just right. I need to make sure that I have my email uh, management system set up just right and making sure that my free opt-in is linked to it. And I need to make sure that I am showing up and, you know, putting out, you know, the, these, these beautifully branded, you know, um, content all that good stuff. Hey, Patty. And so I was so overwhelmed with this, with just seeing what these women were doing in business, right? Like looking at the programs that they were, that they were promoting and how everything was like branded perfectly and their live streams were always just like perfect and their backdrops were perfect. And it was overwhelming for me in the very beginning. And I remember thinking to myself, like, how am I ever going to get to that place, right? Like, I can't put myself out there when it's not completely, um, 
beautified and polished, right? But what I want to speak to you today is I want you to look at where you are right now. I want you to look at where you are right now. And I want you to think about and look at what you have in front of you that you can use to get you where you want to be. And so I'm going to use this in the sense of, um, in the realm of business. And so what I want to say to you is don't, don't wait, right? Like I've, I've had some conversations with women that'll tell me, well, this is a business that I want to, um, Hey Ryan, thanks for liking the, the, uh, the video. Um, they would say to me, you know, well, I have this idea, I have this program idea and here's what it entails and here's how I want to help people. And they'll go on and on about this amazing offer that they have, right? But then the next sentence will be, oh, well, I, you know, I know, I don't know how to put it out there, right? Or I want to get it out there, but I don't know that I'm ready yet. And my thing is, here's the thing, you're never going to be ready. And if you're waiting until you have like the perfect website, until you have the perfect Facebook page, until you have like all these branded colors, until you have all your platforms like cohesively together, if you're waiting for that to get into place before you start putting yourself out there, you're going to be waiting like for one, a year, two years before you actually get yourself out there and start being known. Right? Because think about it that way, right? If you're not putting yourself out there right now, if you're not letting people know what it is that you're doing, that takes time to build that up. It takes time to build up your audience, right? So if you're not putting yourself out there right now and sharing with people how you can help them and sharing with people, you know, what your journey is, then you're just prolonging your success, right? And I think you want that success. You want to start seeing some progress. You want to start seeing people, you know, watching your live streams and following your page and going to your website. Like you want to start seeing these things. But if you're waiting for just that perfect moment, then it's, it's not going to happen. And the thing that I want you to understand and take from this live stream today is that your, your tribe, your community, they're not necessarily looking for you to be absolutely perfect, right? They're not looking for that. They're looking for how you can help them. So when people go to my Facebook page or when people go to my website um, or read my blogs, like they're not looking at all of that and saying, oh my gosh, well her, well her colors, you know, don't match up with, um, with the colors that are on her website or her fonts aren't matching, right? No one's looking at that. People, when they come to you, they're looking to you to see how you can help them, period. And this is just like, this is, this is my experience with this. Um, I haven't gotten on one phone call where someone has said to me, well, you've got purple and, and red on your Facebook page, but your website has black and red. No one's saying that. People are coming to me saying, hey, I saw your, your blog post um, and I read it and I've been reading them for quite some time now and I really want to know, you know, can you help me with X, Y, Z, right? Or they're saying, hey, I heard about your program and I wanted to hop on a call with you and see if it was a good fit for me to see how you could help me, right? And so while I do know that, you know, having your website together and having a Facebook platform is, that's great and that's fine and you do need that. But that shouldn't be the reason why you're not telling people how you can help them. All right. Even if you haven't sold a thing, even if you um, haven't, haven't gotten your first client, it doesn't matter. It's like, I feel like you, you've got to start putting yourself out there. You've got to start showing up. Um, on your Facebook page, um, and it's easy to go and create like a business Facebook page, right? You just go create a business Facebook page with your name. You can have like a generic banner. Like when I first, um, put, when I first, um, it's so funny because I look back at my very first um, Facebook banner that I did for my business page, right? And when I first started my business, I was looking into, I was focused on life coaching and uh, being a professional speaker, which the speaking piece is still in there, obviously. And I still do some live coaching as well. Um, but my very first banner was like, you know, Kendra K. Woods presents um, 
I don't know, like motivational and empowering speaker, right? Like it was just this plain like um, um, Facebook cover that I created in Canva that I put as my Facebook um, cover on my business page, right? And since then it has evolved. And so my point is when you start, if you, if you start where you are right now, the more action you take, the more clarity you're going to get, right? And then there's going to be times where maybe you need to step back and really tune in and say, okay, what is my next move going to be? And so they both go hand in hand. There are times when I'm taking massive, massive action and I'm getting clarity like boom, boom, boom. And then there are times like over this past weekend, I really took some time to just like get quiet and tune in and really listen to myself and, and, and ask myself, you know, what is the next best thing I need to do? What's my next, next best step? You know, how should I be showing up? What do I want to create in my business? And so there is a relationship between massive action and gaining clarity, but in also sitting still and um, tuning into yourself. And the way that I distinguish that is if I find myself just being overwhelmed and confused at any point in time. So if you find yourself like overwhelmed about things, confused about where to go in your business, I feel like that is the important, that is the, the, the trigger for you to say, okay, let me just get quiet for a moment and tune in and ask myself what it is that I should be doing, right? Because the answers are always inside of you. They're always in there, but you have to take the time to sit down and actually ask yourself that question and listen for the answer, right? Now, there's another point in time where it's like you've gotten the clarity on, oh, you know what? This is what I'm more aligned to in my business. And so for me, you know, I started out really promoting my speaking services and really promoting my um, live coaching services and probably about... I don't know, nine months into my business, I realized that, that that's not what I wanted to really focus on, right? That what I wanted to focus on was helping women to launch and grow their business, right? And that also meant that my ideal client shifted a bit because in the beginning, my ideal client was the professional um, successful woman in corporate, right? Who needed help with getting her mindset together to be more confident and to increase her self-worth, right? And it slowly evolved into, okay, no, I want to work with the businesswoman who is maybe still in corporate and, and doing her business on the side as a side hustle, or she's entrepreneurial minded and she may not have launched her business yet, but she is, um, of that mindset of, of launching her business soon, or the woman who has already launched her business and she's new in business and she's trying to figure out, all three of them are trying to figure out how do I grow my business? How do I expand um, my visibility online? You know, how can I show up and be confident and, and, and price my programs, you know, where they should be, where, I sh where I'm not underpricing myself, right? And so it shifts and it changes. But my point is, I started out with what I with what I had, with what I knew how to do, right? And so I created a little, like, you know, um, generic um, Facebook cover, and I went from there. And then from there, I went and I got, like, a little, like, little logo thing done that said Kendra K. Woods, Empowerment Speaker and Clarity Coach. And then that was my Facebook cover. And then I did the same thing to my website, where I changed that around. And so now I'm at a stage where I am... And you're continuously evolving. So now it's like, okay, my, my Facebook cover page, cover photo is going to change again. You know, my website, I'm in the process of upgrading and updating my website. Um, and so you're always evolving. But if you're not, if you haven't started, then you're not going to know what the next step is. Hmm? Um, yes, you can. You're not going to know what your next step is. Right, if you if you just stay in your head all the time and go, well, I don't know what I should do next. Should I do this next? Should I do that next? And you're constantly like questioning yourself. You've got to start where you are. Start where you are to get where you want to be. Okay. Start where you are to get where you want to be, and think about make a list. Also, this is one thing that was really um, helpful to me is making a list of what I bring to the table. Maya, what are you doing? Getting a cookie. Oh, did you get it okay? Okay. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, make yourself a list. So 
make yourself a list of the things that, that you bring to the table, right? Of the value that you bring to the table. Make a list of how you can help your, your soulmate clients, okay? Because that will help to create some clarity for you. And seeing it on paper, you're going to be like, oh, wait a minute. I do have, I can do this here. Oh, wait a minute. I can do this here. Eat that in the kitchen, please. All right, so my daughter is home from for Christmas break, so uh, <laughs> so I'm like got dual roles going here. We got mommy and business woman going at the same time, but um, yeah. So so looking at that list, you can realize that you do have something to offer, and that you can start with where you're at. And you know, I still do free programs, but I know in the very beginning of my business, I did a lot of free um, trainings. Right. And that was my way of like putting myself out there, of filling out my audience, filling out my tribe, my community. Um, it was me practicing, um, practicing my, my, my gift and my art of speaking and writing and teaching. Um, it was me putting my expertise out there and proving to myself that yes, I can do this. Right. And so it was just starting with what I had. Okay, and it was tuning in and thinking about the experiences that I had and how I could help um, women, and it, it and it will continually evolve, you guys. The more that you you know keep putting yourself out there, the more that you keep um, taking action and then tuning in and asking yourself what you should be doing and then taking that action. The more you do that, the clearer the picture gets and the quicker that you begin to evolve. So don't wait, don't wait and try to make every little thing perfect and right and making sure you have a perfect website and a perfect Facebook page and a perfect, you know, everything before you actually put yourself out there. That's to me, that kind of, um, it slows down your progress in business because essentially it's never going to be perfect. You all right. You're, it's never, you're never going to look at something and go, yes, it's absolutely perfect. There's no mistakes. It's wonderful. No, you're going to be proud of your work, but there's always going to be something more that you want to do, right? And that's how it should be because otherwise business just gets really boring, right? And, you know, one of the things that I am bringing into my life and my business next year is more fun, right? It's, 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 it's having more fun and it's stepping up and taking immediate action, immediate inspired action when something comes to me, right? When an idea comes to me, taking immediate action. When, you know, a message comes to me, taking immediate action. When um, anything comes to me in regards to my business and in my life, taking immediate action, right? And because I know that when I do that, and I know that when you do that, it's going to fill you up, it's going to, to keep increasing your confidence, and you're going to start getting the results and you're going to then allow, you're going to be really creating your own path. Okay. And that's the other point that I want to bring to you before I get off of here is that understand that your journey is not going to look like somebody else's journey, right? It may be very similar. You know what I mean? It may be very similar. Like the coach that I'm working with now, when I listen to her story and I see her journey, there are some similarities in there, but there's also a lot of you know, differences in there because we're different women, right? We think different. Um, we have similar, we're in the, a similar niche or actually in the same niche. And, but the way that we show up, the way we communicate, the way we put our programs together, it's different. And, you know, I caught myself in this whole, um, mindset and getting caught up in how every other woman was doing business and thinking that the way that they were doing business was better than how I was doing business. And that is a recipe for disaster because what it does is it then puts you on the comparison train where you're comparing what you're doing to what she's doing, what you're doing to what this person's doing. And you never make any forward progress because you're constantly looking left and right at what everyone else is doing and then trying to take what they're doing and fitting it into your way of doing business. And it creates frustration for you, right? And then that's where you get that to that place where you just feel like I'm stuck. I don't know what to do, right? So understand that your journey is your journey. Now look at other women. There are there are two women that I follow. One of them is the coach that I work with now, and one of them is a woman that I've worked with in the past as a coach. They're the only two women that I look to because they resonate with me. Um, their message resonates with me. I love how they do business. And so while I look to them for inspiration, right, 
I'm not trying to um, duplicate everything that they're doing in my business because I've learned, I've learned that by doing that, it just creates, it, it, it gets me out of alignment. And you want to be in alignment with your business, right? Like every day, one of the statements I write in my, in my journal is that I am in alignment with, um, with God's will and purpose for my life, right? So every action I take, I'm asking myself, is this in alignment to my vision and my purpose, right? And if it's not, then I'm not doing it. If it is, then I'm going to proceed forward, right? Um, if I'm not sure, then I'm going to ask myself, okay, well, I'm not quite clear if this is the exact step I should take, but should I take the step or should I just leave it alone? And if my, my intuition and my heart says, yes, take the step, then I'm going to take the step and I'm going to do it and see where it goes, right? But your journey is different than another woman's journey. Your entrepreneurial journey, you know, may be similar, but it's not the same. So don't get caught up in trying to fit your journey inside the mold of somebody else, Okay. So that's what I have for you today. Um, I would love to know your thoughts and your comments. You know, leave those down below, whether you're watching live or if you're watching the recording. Um, just leave your comments, what resonated with you. Leave your questions. And um, I always come back and look at them. And so before I get off of here, I also want to share with you that tomorrow night, you guys, at 8 o'clock p.m., I am hosting my virtual purpose planning workshop. All right, um, for 2018. So if you haven't signed up and secured your space, then I'm going to leave the, the uh, link in the comments. It's a $47 investment. Um, and I'll probably never do a workshop again with $47, especially after going through and looking at all the content that I'm going to cover. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be massive. But we're going to be talking about not just creating your goals for 2018, but I'm going to be teaching you how to go into the next year with purpose and intent. I'm going to be sharing with you, you know, uh, the importance of specificity and how to be specific. I'm going to be talking with you about the, the power of visualization. Like this weekend, me and my daughter just did um, our vision boards. It was her first time doing um, a vision board. And um, I can't see. You got to, oh. they only see your hand. Okay. <laughs> she did her vision board this weekend um, for the first time. And then of course I did mine. And I'm going to talk to you about not just creating a vision board, but actually creating one that is effective and that gets you results. Because there's a difference between just putting some pretty pictures on a board and then actually knowing how to work your vision board. So we're going to talk about that in, the per in our, my uh, purpose planning workshop. We're going to be talking about... Um, Oh, I'm going to guide you into creating your own mindset routine. And I think the most important thing that we're going to be really discussing in this workshop is how you will get in your way and sabotage yourself with the goals and the visions that you have um, for 2018. And I'm going to help you pinpoint the limiting beliefs. I'm going to help you pinpoint your sabotaging behaviors and patterns that always pop up when you try to um, work towards your goals and your vision. And that is so important because we see it every year where people have these amazing resolutions and these amazing, you know, goals. And then come February, um, you know, into March, they have like totally veered off this amazing path that they had set for themselves on January 1st, right? And the reason why that happens is because you're trying to do something new with an old way of thinking. And so I'm going to teach you how to identify your limiting beliefs, your sabotaging behaviors, and then I'm also going to walk you through how to create a new belief system. So I'm going to walk you through my belief creation process. And I'm going to show you how to create new beliefs that are in alignment with what it is you say you want to create in 2018. And that is super powerful, super powerful. Because once you get your, your subconscious and your conscious mind aligned with one another, man, things begin to happen. And so I'm going to show you how to do that in my purpose planning workshop. I'm going to share with you, um, you know, a lot of tools and resources that you'll be able to use to actually meet and exceed your goals and the vision that you have for yourself for next year. So if you haven't secured your space, Go ahead and do that today, and then you will get an email with instructions on um, where to show up because I'm doing it in a free 
live uh, video conferencing setting. And it's going to be tomorrow night at 8 o'clock p.m. Central, Central Standard Time. If you can't make the live, it will be recorded. And I'll be sending out the recording to all of those who registered. Um, so you'll have it for life and you'll be able to go back and rewatch it and go through um, and as many times as you need to. Okay. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll leave the link for you, um, here in the comments. And again, questions, comments, thoughts, anything that resonated with you, put that in the, um, uh -oh, put that in the comments below, because I will come back and read them and look at them and see what you guys say. All right, let me find this link for you real quick. So I'm going to pop it in. So that you can um, join us tomorrow night. Where is it? There it is. All right. Wait, did I put it in there? Let me see. Bear with me for a second. Okay, there it is. There it is. I'm going to put this in there in this video here. There we go. Okay. Thank you for watching. Secure your space and my purpose planning workshop all right all right all right all right perfect all right you guys i'm looking forward to your comments and your questions and all that good stuff and i will talk to you soon thank you so much for watching and um, I look forward to coming back again with amazing information and inspired messages that come through me, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.